Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be a little bit different video. Normally you're used to hearing my voice, uh, and this time I'm going to be talking. I am going to be reacting to a video of me reacting to a video from six years ago. Um, I have not watched this in six years, and when this video first came out, uh, so Ryukar did a video where he was playing viewer levels, and I noticed through the old Mario Maker bookmark site that he had played a level of mine. And so as soon as the video came out where it looked like he was playing my level, I set up the camera and I recorded myself. And I also figured I'd wear the same shirt, so I actually still own the same shirt as before. Uh, as you can see here, this handsome fellow with some strangely grown facial hair, and the hair, it was fading. You can't really tell from here, maybe, or maybe you can. I'm gonna watch this video, and um, I'm reacting to myself, but myself is reacting to Ryukar, who played the level that I made in Mario Maker 1. So, let's go ahead and start. What's up, everybody? This video is gonna be a little bit different than normal, so normally I play Super Mario Maker. This time I'm gonna watch Super Mario Maker, specifically uh, Ryukar, who is a, a favorite streamer of mine, played one of the levels that I tweeted at him, so I'm gonna watch him play it. But first, I'm actually gonna go through a couple of things that I feel like may be issues, or I wonder if he may have trouble with. So, uh, to start... It's funny that I am already trying to get the viewer ready like i'm trying to prepare the viewer like hey don't think it sucks please it's actually a good level i just uh maybe didn't do this thing correct or whatever so yeah i'm already trying to cover my mistakes Start off the first section here there's actually a little bit of cheese so the very first section here is intended for you to throw the shell up to the bomb here and which will trigger the bomb and the bomb walks over and you got a little bomb hop, then you gotta quickly go up and get the spring before the bomb explodes. A uh, little cheese uh, opportunity here, if instead you just uh, throw the shell, then you jump and do that, basically you get the coin and you get the shell and there's no rush. So, a little bit of cheese there. The next part I'm a little bit worried about, Whatever. I watched a streamer do this before, and basically what I have is a series of vine jumps with while throwing a shell up in the air. And they basically, because you need the shell to come up here to get the piranha. And this section was pretty frustrating to the uh, streamer that I watched. So, I mean... So, the streamer that I watched, so I, I was really kind of scared to say it. I'll just say it now. Murphy, uh, really great guy, really nice guy, chill guy. He played my level on his own stream when he was streaming on YouTube. And uh, he was pretty frustrated at this particular part. So, uh, I was extra worried that Ryukar might not like it, although Ryu generally has a chill vibe, but he was, I still want, was a little hesitant, a little nervous that he might not like it, basically. Right, Ryukar's got some pretty great skill. So since I built this section, I got a lot of practice doing this part here, so it came easy to me, but you know, for a lot of streamers, or at least this particular streamer, it uh, was kind of a pain. Uh, so the section here is intended for you to just run into the piranha, but if you take them out like this, there actually is some little bit more cheese over here. So what we have is a P-switch jump area, which I just give you a lot of P-switches just, just to be silly. Um, but basically, if you instead of doing an actual P-switch jump, what you can do is just stack a shell like here, and go like that, and then bam, and then you're up top. So a little bit of cheese opportunity there. Not a big deal, because this P-switch jump, as you can see, and then the pipe throws out P-switches as well, so this section is not meant to kill you or, or, or be that particularly hard. You just have to know how to do a P-switch jump. Then there's a part up here that is intended to be off screen, and that's kind of a pain, but that was intended to be the difficulty. It's, it's basically for you to be able to, you know, you're supposed to have to judge where you are over the screen to jump here, but it can be a little bit of a pain. The very last section of the entire level uh, basically is this part here, where essentially what you have is you have uh, a note block and then you have this the, the blocks over there so you're kind of intended to do a shell jump but what I did here just to be silly or whatever I tried to write you know basically the left right is midair or and then I tried to give some sort of a visualization of a shell jump uh, the streamer that I watched also did not know at all what this was he did not this this just was very cryptic to him so I'm just curious to see uh, by the way, also for those who might not know, the, the left-right indicator in Mario Maker 1 was for mid-air, which mid-airs are uh, a much more difficult move maneuver, 
in Mario Maker 1, and so I'm just trying to explain what this is, basically. <laughs> See if Ryukar will, will understand what it says, or if we'll just look at it and be confused. All right, we are gonna squeeze in one more stage uh, for this video. That makes like six levels, I think. I'm losing count. Uh, all right. This next level is called... All right, all right, all right. Kaizo going up. Uh, this one might actually be hard. It has a much lower clear rate. I see <laughs> bomb spins. I see stuff. Let's check it out. All right. Well, he made time for my oh, level. Oh, here we go. Here's the sh here's the uh, shell jumps. Although I don't need to shell jump that. All right. <laughs> There's a key. And he found the cheese already. A bomb. <laughs> Um, just another little tidbit of uh, trivia, like Ryu, I mean, there's a lot of Mario Maker players. Uh, Ryu Kar in, in, uh, specifically uh, was just n sort of had a reputation for finding cheese. Even if other streamers could too, Ryu sort of like got a name for it, or at least at least his fans essentially, um, they, they could always rely on him for to find cheese essentially. So uh, it was kind of like fun or an honor for him to find cheese in your level. Okay, yeah, this actually seems pretty cool so far, except I screwed that up, <laughs> so that could be a problem. Got the shell. That, that's awesome, by the way, just that he found the cheese that quickly, like, without even looking. I, I guess instinctively you would just bring the shell up towards the spikes. You wouldn't know immediately to throw it up to this cloud, so I can't really blame him for finding it. It's just funny to me you're watching somebody find it so fast. Can we somehow salvage this situation? Maybe a midair? <laughs> trying to do a midair. No momentum. It's not working out. Oh, I died. Okay, let's try it again. There you go. Easy as that. All right. What do we got next? Oh, I think I'm supposed to... Pow drop? Pow drop to the coin? This whole section's weird. I... Oh, God. I'm like trying to mix Kaizo with like a, <laughs> All right, yeah, I think a little bit of puzzle or something. It. Should bring a pal for the road, right? Absolutely. <laughs> he knows. Oh, sh you definitely need the pal. It shows it right there. Wait, what? Do I still I need the pal? I tried to make it useful. I tried to make it helpful so you you could know what was either needed or what was like in the block. But there are better ways to do this. Like I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. Most people who build levels don't don't really know what they're doing. So yeah. I can't tell. You'll see. I'm just gonna put the power right there. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, another bomb spin. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it right. Okay, perfect. Galoomba. Galoomba. There you go. Nice. Ooh. Watch Kill out him. for the wiggler. Oh, Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, I needed him. No. Well, we can see what comes up. Not very blind friendly. At least, sort of. Yeah, you just have to throw the Galoomba for an extra jump to make it to the key door. Oh, nice. God. Get out. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> Oh no. I need to spin jump off of him, but he's so <laughs> angry, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh! There you go. Got it, nice. Okay, just put the Galoomba down and he'll wake up and we should. How be does okay. he have another key? Oh, the key. Right. From, give um. Me checkpoint. Give me, give me, give oh, me. from the coins. Yes. I, I forgot my own levels, awesome. basically. Alright, now we're talking. I've been thinking uh, right. Probably that. Is that a... Okay, I think... Dang, see, th I forgot to mention this before, too. This is this is what also threw off the streamer. So I have an up arrow just to indicate to take the Galoomba and pop him, you know, to jump off him upwards. And I have a down arrow top because it's intended... Because there's there's Koopas up there, and it's intended to mean just to let the Koopas drop down or to that's where you're supposed to go. The down arrow, I, I see it already threw him off, and uh, I'm hoping uh, it doesn't... Throw him off too you have much. To jump off the Goomba in midair. Oh no, you have to go to the left. No, I can see. We can reset, so it's cool. Yeah. 
so that gives us Koopas. Okay, so maybe we need a shell up there. <laughs> I didn't even uh, think about that. Wait, wait, now I'm confused. Now what? Shell jump <laughs> over here? No, I can make that with a regular jump, right? Oh, uh, I need a shell up here. Couldn't I have just jumped up here initially with a Goomba drop and skipped all the stuff on the left? Okay, we need to You jump. know, that's funny. I didn't even think about that. Uh, I don't know. I guess you probably could if you threw the Goomba up and then spit on top of them. Um, maybe you could, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'd never even thought about that. Shell. I <laughs> can't see it, damn it. Yeah. We gotta get a shell all the way up there. Holy crap. Oh, man. Holy crap. Ooh. There you go. Oh. I can't see. Oh. It's so hard to see up there. That sucks. Yeah. Did I get it? No! <laughs> so close. Oh, come on. Oh. It's funny, because this is like, this, maybe it looks frustrating to you, maybe not, but when you build it, and like you test it, you get so good at it, that you don't really realize how difficult it's gonna be for someone who's just seeing it for the first time fresh. So it's, uh, yeah, like it might look annoying, but um, I just did it so many times, I just, I knew how to do it. It was, it was easy for me. No. Oh no. You got it. There we go, got it. Hey, look at that. He's gonna maybe find the cheese. Well, it is a mountain of P-switches. So I'm assuming he wants you to do a P-switch jump. I still have the shell with me, which may come in. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, he screwed him. himself. <laughs> That's funny. That, that can't be good. <laughs> that cannot be nope. good for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I would have never planned for that to happen. I tried. I tried to make it work. Valiant effort. Couldn't do it. Alright, so for this part here, you could simply Goomba drop up here and skip the uh, Maybe you can't side. do it. Maybe it's not high enough. There oh, you, you can. So, yeah, you can just do that. Didn't Makes even know about that. Quicker. Speed run strats, baby. Alright, we back in there. Real quick, real easy. So we just need to do a P-switch jump and get up here. I just wasted like a bunch of P switches for no reason. Oh, they come out of the pipe. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> this part's pretty tough. All right, we need to bomb spin, but not hit the ceiling because it's super low. Yeah. <laughs> a little more momentum. Dude. Yeah, and again, this is another example of one of those times where I, I could realize it's hard, but I did it so many times in editor and I got it down perfectly that when others try it, it, it can be frustrating. Hard right and still couldn't keep up. You kind of have to hit it at a t uh, more of a top angle. Like, at least that's what I got out of it when I was practicing it a lot. Kind of a little more, a little closer to the top than the side to, uh, to so that you stay above them. Oh, God. Can't see. Get out. There you go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh no. Ooh, I'm alive. <laughs> this part here was really just meant to be silly. Um, I, I usually throw in like like silly parts of the level that are really just meant to kind of be like a fake troll or whatever. Um, I mean, all right. Yeah, yeah. Just random. All right. Still in this, man. Oh, we got another checkpoint. All right. We got a Yoshi? Even better. Whoa, God. Okay, yeah, so this is a, another part when the, the last streamer was playing it. Uh, he wasn't sure if you needed to take Yoshi up top. That was I didn't make that entirely clear. You just need to jump off Yoshi. You might be able to t do take Yoshi up top, but you'll see that you're not Yoshi able to take him any further. Some, uh, but we need, we need good chomps. Whoa, okay, that was a good chomp. Yeah. Wait, you can't have Yoshi? Yeah, so... Oh, you can't have Yoshi or a power-up. I didn't make that clear. You could probably get Yoshi through there. Wait, Koopa... Oh, God. What exactly is this? 
Like that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I see. I will say, I my goal when I made this level, like there are a lot of levels that have very generic shell jumps or setups or whatever. A lot of levels end up looking the exact same. I really, when I build my levels, tried to make them like sort of unique. And so that's really what I was going for, was just like a unique way to do the tricks. But of course, you can see they ended up just kind of being confusing. Oh. There you go. Okay, we're good. Ooh, we get a new Yoshi. All right. I love Yoshi. Yep. Ooh, cheese detected. Cheese detected. Unless he wanted you to do this. <laughs> I did. Cheese detected. No cheese. Oh, he wanted you to do this. <laughs> All right, that's, that's a cool obstacle, though. I like it. Cool. Uh-oh. Wait, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Just shell jump? Equip this? Yes, sir. There you go. Get the pow. Pow jump off of a spike wall? Gross. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh. So the technique with this is actually really easy. People are used to doing like a running pow jump. If you just stand up against the spikes and jump vertically and do the pow drop, you'll be able to get onto it quick enough to jump up. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's going to figure that part out. I mean, I know he will, but... I'm wondering how he will end up doing it. I can do it without touching the spikes. Yeah. You, oh, okay. okay. Easy. We're good. What is all this voodoo <laughs> era? I, I, <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I just, this is just funny. Going bracket nonsense here. I'm just going to go. Do I have to do a midair or a shell jump? That's right. I have no idea. We're just going to go for a shell jump off this oh there you go that. gg gg it says gg yes it does Ooh, hello all this disgusting mess <laughs> all right um you know what holy shit i am <laughs> you <laughs> oh my god oh wait i could actually die here yeah oh, don't die I... that's go. so dumb <laughs> i didn't expect this to, to, that to happen okay. that way we good all right that level was fun Good stuff. Uh, that was a nice challenge to end the video with. All right, that was a very uh, busy episode. We had six. Well, uh, I guess all I can say now is thanks, Ryu, for playing the level. Uh, that was really fun to watch. Um, he also streams on Twitch and does you does viewer levels there, although the queue gets pretty long, so you uh, would need to get in there pretty early and wait for quite a while. But uh, check him out on Twitch for sure. And, uh, you know, I'm also streaming live as well on Sundays. So, uh, but yeah, thanks again for Ryu for uh, playing, playing the level. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, so there it is. That's how I ended my videos. I always said, and I'll see you next time. So I'll just give a thanks again to Ryu because, you know, like Ryu playing the level allowed me to react, which in turn allowed my channel to really kind of just start. Uh, it really got the nice boost once YouTube, the algorithm, decided after a couple of months that it wanted to push the video hard, and it was awesome. And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.